fracking is a technique used by energy companies to extract oil and natural gas from underground. It supplies half of all oil produced in the U.S. and two-thirds of all natural gas. It is heavily debated. A poll from Pew Research shows Americans are basically split on whether or not they favor it. Advocates of fracking insist it is safe for those living near fracking wells and say it is worth doing because it supports American job creation and cheap energy. Those against fracking say it can poison drinking water if nearby aquifers are affected. We're a science channel that simply covers new peer-reviewed research, so we wish to deliver only the facts. With that said, one new study from the University of Toledo in Ohio, partially funded by the US EPA, does not look good for fracking. And frankly, we can't understand why the media hasn't yet made a bigger deal about these results. A new paper, published in the journal Frontiers in Published Health, which is one of the world's most prestigious peer-reviewed health journals, connects how close one lives in Ohio to fracking wells, to higher concentrations of radon gas. Radon gas is very dangerous to human health. The EPA and the Surgeon General's office estimates it is the second leading cause of lung cancer each year, causing as many as 20,000 deaths per year. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that has no color, taste, or smell. Radon begins as uranium found naturally in soil, water, and rocks, but becomes gas when it decays. Radon becomes dangerous when it accumulates in homes and enclosed spaces. Concentrations of the gas vary depending on the location due to differences in geology. Back to the study, the results could not be more clear. Chair of Utilito's Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Dr. Ashok Kumar, explains, quote, The shorter the distance a home is from a fracking well, the higher the radon. The larger the distance, the lower the radon. His team found that average radon levels across the entire state of Ohio are 44% above the EPA and World Health Organization guidelines. The worst city was Stryker, Ohio, a village of 1,300 people that had radon levels of ridiculous 35 times above federal guidelines. It is important to note that the radon data collection was funded by grants from the U.S. EPA and the Ohio Department of Health. Fracking operations in Ohio work to unlock gas that exists in regions of sedimentary rock. The regions are called the Marcellus and Utica Shales, the Marcellus Shale in particular is known to contain abnormally high levels of radon, according to research from 2015. One study from John Hopkins that year found a statistical significance between first floor radon concentrations and the natural gas wells drilled nearby home locations in the Marcellus Shale in Pennsylvania. That same older study finds a clear correlation between fracking operations and higher radon levels but does not go into details on why this could occur. That study's lead author, Joan Casey, a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Health and Society Scholar at University Cal Berkeley, says, it was unclear then how radon could be making its way pe into people's homes. She told university reporters in 2015 that radon could be leaking into well water through fracking, or it could be released into the air near gas wells. A third possibility is if shale gas is leaking radon into homes as it is being used for cooking and heating. Quote, by drilling 7,000 holes in the ground, the fracking industry may have changed the geology and created new pathways for radon to rise to the surface, she said at the time. She also said that there are a lot of potential ways that fracking may be distributing and spreading radon. The state of Pennsylvania took radon measurements near 34 gas wells including air samples near several, but did not show any elevated levels of radon. Casey and her team, though, suggested the state's sample size was far too small to make conclusions that the entire industry is safe. It is obvious that there is a lot of money to be protected here. The U.S. fracking industry is projected to be worth $14 billion by 2025. Last month, the U.S. Department of Energy, a publicly funded office, 
promoted the industry, calling it, quote, clean energy, and quote, freedom gas. Yes, that's real. If we were to guess, there is a reason there have only been two peer-reviewed studies on the subject in the past five years. It's simply too economically dangerous to have Americans turn against fracked natural gas. We also acknowledge this may be a reason the media isn't covering the story as closely as they should. But it needs to be repeated. The latest data in Ohio is not from some hack outlet. It's an EPA-funded study from one of the most prestigious universities in the Rust Belt, published in one of the nation's, nation's most prestigious peer-reviewed journals. If you know anyone living in Ohio or above the Marcellus Shale, share this video so they can learn more about the subject from unbiased academic sources. We fully respect all political opinions on this channel, but this data is neither blue nor red. So be civil and keep the data in mind when commenting. Comment below on whether or not you are concerned about this topic and subscribe to be the first to know about future academic studies that the mainstream media is not covering.